يا ايها الذين امنوا اذا قمتم الى الصلاه فاغسلوا وجوهكم وايديكم الى المرافق وايديكم الى المرافق وامسحوا برؤوسكم وارجلكم الى الكعبين وان كنتم جنبا فاطهروا Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. A very common question we all face, and I definitely have been asked many times. So I took my shower in the morning. Can I go and pray right now? And um, did I do my wudu correctly? And uh, why it was not correct? Why people tell me I'm not doing it right? So when I'm bleeding, what should I do? Is this is my period? Is this is a bleeding? Can I pray? Can I not? Can I go to Umrah? Can I enter the masjid? Can I read the Quran? Many questions, women especially, female, are faced daily. And these are, though it looks like very basic a question, but it's the essential of our religion. Because if I don't know uh, taking a shower is enough for me to pray or not, then I can assume things could be completely not right, and then my salah will not be valid. So a very simple topic, which a lot of people, tahara, uh, 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 the prerequisition for my essential wor uh, worship acts, but it is simple, but it's extremely important. So we're going to cover, and we're going to cover in the four school of thoughts in a basic way, the simple way that it appeals, and it's easy to understand for the ordinary um, woman, starting with the usual, um, that the which water I can use, the prerequisition for my salah, and especially the bleeding and the period, and all these um, specific issues related to the um, woman will take questions also a lot of the questions during or after the because that after the course or i mean after the session because that course usually generates a lot of the um questions alhamdulillah my background as an OBGYN plus my islamic studies alhamdulillah taught me a lot related to this uh, subject so join us inshallah and we all will learn